people que quiero que I want her to be remembered because she was a very brilliant girl. A family in mourning tonight after the loss of their seven-year-old daughter when she was shot and killed in Heber late Friday. Just a crushing story that begins our news tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Amy Nay. And I'm Brian Schnee. Fox 13's Diego Romo spoke with the girl's father about the tense moments leading up to her death. Seven-year-old Zay Danielis Rodriguez Irizari and her father Danny Rodriguez moved to Utah from Puerto Rico about a year ago. She wasn't like any other seven-year-old. My little girl was polite, intelligent, and well-behaved. Just after 10.30 Friday night, the Wasatch County Sheriff's Office received a call from Rodriguez saying he was taking his daughter to the Heber Valley Hospital. His son called him at work and said he had heard a loud noise and his sister needed help because she was bleeding from the mouth. When he arrived to his home here at the Wasatch Common Apartments, in that moment, I thought she had fallen off the bed and cut herself. That was the first thing I thought. Rodriguez quickly took his daughter to the ER. They took her in and were doing CPR, and then they said there was no more they could do, and she was gone. According to the Wasatch County Sheriff's Office, Idizadi passed away at Heber Valley Hospital at about 11.30 Friday night from a gunshot wound. I'm a little sad because I really feel that... I feel sad because if I knew what was going to happen, I would have tried more. I would have given her more time, more laughter, more smiles. I would have tried more in those last moments. Sheriff's deputies came to their Wasatch Commons apartment to investigate on Friday night. When they arrived, they reported hearing a gunshot in a unit near the Rodriguez's apartment and took three intoxicated individuals into custody. I want her to be remembered because she was a very brilliant girl. A GoFundMe has been set up to help the Rodriguez family. We'll link you over at fox13now.com. In Heber, Diego Romo, Fox 13 News, Utah. Well, if you have any information about this incident, you are asked to contact the Wasatch County Sheriff's Office tip line. That's the number you see on your screen. We also have that number on our website, fox13now.com.